Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating an algebraic expression in terms of another one. So we're given that x divided by x squared plus x plus 1 equals a, a being a real number or a given number. And we're supposed to find x squared divided by x to the fourth plus x squared plus 1. And the answer needs to be in terms of a, which is our original expression. Okay, great. So I'm going to talk about two different things here. First, I'll talk about what not to do for this kind of problem, and then I'll talk about a solution method. Okay, I hope you don't mind because sometimes uh, we also need to see the uh, solution methods that don't work or solution methods that are somewhat complicated and not very ideal. Okay, great. So what you would not do for this type of problem. Okay, so I'll take, I'll just do what you're not supposed to do. Let's start by cross multiplying. So I'm going to be getting something like x equals ax squared plus ax plus a. And then let's put everything on the same side. That's going to be a quadratic ax squared plus ax. And obviously I can subtract an x here and then plus a is equal to zero. And I can just write it as ax squared plus the quantity a minus one times x plus a is equal to zero. So I wrote it as a quadratic in x. And remember, our expression is in terms of x. So if I can solve for x here, let's go ahead and do that first. And then I'll tell you what we should be or we should not be doing. Okay. So from here, the quadratic formula gives us two solutions, depending on, of course, particular values of a, where you have a solution or not uh, in the real world. But it's going to be negative b, which is the opposite of that guy. 1 minus a plus minus the square root of b squared, which is a minus 1 quantity squared minus 4ac, which is minus 4a squared. And then you can just go ahead and divide it by 2a, which is 2a, right? And then if you simplify inside the radical, you get something like this. a squared minus 4a squared is obviously going to be negative 3a squared. And then you're going to get minus 2a plus 1. Okay. So obviously that quadratic is not always negative. Uh, it's it's kind of like a good uh, quadratic with some solutions for certain values of a, so it's going to work. Great. Anyway, so this is the x value. And obviously, our goal is to find this expression, x squared divided by x to the fourth plus x squared plus 1, right? I want to find this in terms of a, so wouldn't that make sense if I took that expression and substituted it instead of x, right? Well, I don't think anybody would be willing to do it, but... This is basically what you should not be doing because this is going to be time consuming. And you also have two solutions. Does it matter which one you plug in? It shouldn't. But this is not what you're supposed to do. So let's talk about what you can do to solve this problem. All right. So that's going to be our solution method. So I'm given this x over x squared plus x plus 1. Let's rewrite it. This is equal to a. And I'm supposed to evaluate this expression in terms of a. So how can I manipulate, you know, this expression to make it look like the other expression? So here's the key. We're going to start, if you pay attention uh, to this expression, we have a complicated denominator. And you don't want that. You want the denominator to be super simple. So what can I do for that? I can flip it. Let's go ahead and turn things upside down. And if you do, things are going to simplify a great deal. I hope you like this trick because this is a really cool trick that we use a lot of times. Now, when I do the flip, obviously, we have to flip both sides. Of course, a should not equal 0, x should not equal 0, so on and so forth. All those stories, you know, the domain stuff. Let's just uh, say for appropriate values of a and x, this is going to work. Now, what happens is you can separate. You can write this as x plus 1 plus 1 over x equals 1 over a. Beautiful. And you can do more. You can just isolate the x terms and just uh, put the one on the other side. And finally, you can write it like this. x plus 1 over x is equal to 1 minus a over a. This is awesome. Why? Because you'll see in a little bit how I manipulate the second expression. Now, this is my key. And let's take a look at the second expression, which is this one. So I have x squared divided by x to the fourth plus x squared plus one. Now I'm trying to find this in terms of a, but I don't know what this is equal to, right? So it needs to equal something. Let's say 
the, um, say it is equal to something like b. Maybe we're going to get something like 2b or not 2b from here. I don't know. We'll see. But if you do the same trick here, like take this expression and turn it upside down, you're going to get a similar structure, algebraic. Why? Because it'll be separable. So let's go ahead and do that. Flip and see what happens. When you flip, obviously, we're going to get 1 over b. Again, b should not equal 0, x should not equal 0, so on and so forth. The numerator here cannot be 0 because it is always positive. You can check that. It's a kind of bi-quadratic. Now, what am I going to do with this? What, what do I have? I have x plus 1 over x. Great. How can I use it? Let's go ahead and split it up. This gives me x squared plus 1 plus 1 over x squared is equal to 1 over b. And let's not forget that we are trying to solve for b. So our goal is to find b in terms of a. Great. Well, I can simplify this. I can isolate the x terms and then kind of write it in a nice way. But you know what? Let's not mess with the right hand side because it's good as is. Now, I'm trying to find b from here, but I can't find it directly. Maybe I can. You know what? Actually, I can just... Anyways, let's just go ahead and use the expression that we obtained. So I got x plus 1 over x and I have x squared plus 1 over x squared. So what's the relationship, right? Well, if you take x plus 1 over x and square it, it becomes x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2ab gives you 2 times x times 1 over x, but it is just 2, so you get the following, which is pretty cool, right? From here, I can isolate x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to the quantity x plus 1 over x squared minus 2. Great. Now, remember, my goal is to solve for b, and I can do it here. In order to solve for b, what happens if I evaluate x squared plus 1 over x squared? And I got it in terms of x plus 1 over x, but x plus 1 over x is equal to 1 minus a over a. Great. So I can go ahead and substitute this. Isn't substitution awesome? I think so. So I'm going to go ahead and take this expression and then replace the x plus 1 over x with... What was it? 1 minus a over a. 1 minus a over a. And then I'll square it, of course, and then subtract 2 from it. So this is equal to that, which is 1 over b minus 1. Okay, we're almost there. Let's see what happens. Well, I got, I didn't get the b value, but I'm pretty close. If I add 1 to both sides here, and then flip, I will get the value of b. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to be getting 1 minus a over a quantity squared. Minus 2 plus 1 is going to give me minus 1. That is going to give me 1 over b. Of course, I kind of need to, you know, uh, what am I, what is it, what am I looking for? Okay, make a common denominator, simplify the left-hand side a little bit, and then you can kind of flip. I mean, you can also do the following. Let's, you can just find the reciprocal like this, but I'd rather simplify first. Let's go ahead and do it. And looks like we ran out of the blackboard, so we're going to have to use a little bit of whiteboard. I hope you don't mind. Let's go ahead and do that next. Okay, great. So let's change colors here, use a darker color, and let's proceed. So I'm going to make a common denominator. So let me write it like this first. 1 minus a quantity squared divided by a squared minus 1 is equal to 1 over b. And then from here, I get 1 minus a quantity squared minus a squared over a squared is equal to 1 over b. And since my goal is to find b in terms of a, I'm going to have uh, to flip this, it's going to be a squared over 1 minus a quantity squared minus a squared. Let's go ahead and simplify this expression, and then that is going to be our answer in terms of a. Okay, great. Now let's see what happens. So b can be written as a squared divided by b can be written as a squared divided by. If you expand this, you're going to get 1 minus 2a plus a squared minus a squared. They're going to cancel out and you're going to end up with this expression. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. 
I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.